for a long time. He's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet for a long time, though. The title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? for this heavyweight championship fight. Both fighters are 31, with some differences in height and a similar reach. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the challenger, Habib the Eagle. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. This might be fun. The tension, the buzz in this arena is palpable. Bruce Lee and Khabib Nurmagomedov ready to go here tonight. But let's be clear, Bruce Lee has never fought a grappler on the level of Khabib Nurmagomedov. No, he's never seen anything like this. Bruce Lee has had some tremendous battles over his career. But he is facing someone in Khabib Nurmagomedov who is an absolute savage. Khabib gets his hands around him and you are going to the ground. But what can you expect? This is a young man that spent his childhood grappling with bears. So it does not matter how strong you are. Bruce Lee does not feel like Habib's little friend that he used to wrestle all the time. Well, Bruce Lee's got a better sprawl than you think, but it will be tested here tonight. 
Hard shots landing on both sides here. Takedown defense holds up. Nice punch there by Nermago Medov. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Big knee there to the chest. Oh! Oh, huge knee to the head. He could be in trouble here. That one landed clean. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. And they separate. That's a good strike right there. Ball lands the double jab. Those are going to start to take their effect. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent defending the takedown. But now, he is going to have to mix it up again. The first shot will not work. He's got to go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him to give him too much to process to try to get this fight to the ground. Magomedov's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Great punch. The kick is there to the body. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clip. Nice one, two there. Oh, and he lands yet another uppercut. So those strikes have come in bunches tonight, really starting to find some consistency. He's finding consistency because he knows that that is a strike that he can find at any time. He's so confident in finding that uppercut that it's landing over and over again. Back to the feet now. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and for... Oh! Serves him up. Go get him. Shot. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude? Round two winding down. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Oh, it's a nice strike there by Nirvana Meadow. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Nice loop and punch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already in DC. I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set it up again here? I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect it to come off the left hook, because off the left hook, don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. He's real good at trying to find that shot. That strike blocked by Lee. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Lee gets up and somewhat surprisingly, despite having a dominant position on the ground, he wants to take this fight back to the feet. Big power shot there. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Big punch land. Ooh. Tags him with the left hand. Try to establish that jab. Well, he, ooh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Closed guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here, DC. Yeah, he's isolated to try to get a Kimura here. Kimura is not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. Bottom fighter trying to control nicely done. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Nermago Medov. Close guard. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Nice. Well, you start to really worry. Oh, shot here, DC. He is officially won. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Oh, and a nice jab by. 
by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Just missed with the left there. Boom! 15 seconds to go. Just misses there with the left. the end of round number two. All right, there's the horn, and what a round, champ. We got to talk about the knockdown. When you knock somebody down like that, it's got to be kind of fun to strut your way back to the store. I mean, you are 10 foot tall. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that dude. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Played out here on fight night, he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling, he used his elbows, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Here now, Bruce Buffer Ladies with the official decision.